In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a machine learning model in Dalinar without having to code. Now, you'll be able to test the model in the website itself, for example, on these images. As you can see, it uh, correctly predicts that this is a glacier, a mountain, an ocean, another mountain, a glacier, a street, a mountain, some buildings, a forest, and a glacier, or maybe a mountain, it's hard to see. And you'll, of course, also be able to download this model and use it however you want. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is to create an account or sign in if you already have one. I'll create a new one and you'll be taken to your homepage. Now, the dataset we'll be using is this one called Landscapes, which has 480 elements belonging to these six different labels and images of 150 by 150. As you can see, uh, there are buildings, glaciers, forests, and so on. Now, you'll want to save this dataset, and we can go back to the homepage where you'll create a model. I'm going to call it the Landscape Model and uh, upload a nice image of a mountain. You can add a description if you want. I'll keep it public and go ahead and create that. Now, loading a template is normally a pretty good way to get an overview, but I'll be adding the layers manually. If you're curious, I'd suggest at least uh, looking into this dense layer and the one called COM2D. But for now, I'm just going to add a resizing layer with output dimensions 224 by 224 and input dimensions the same as the images we'll be training on. After this, I'll add a pre-trained model, the mobile NetV2, a dense layer with 128 nodes and the review activation function. If you're curious about any of these steps and uh, want to experiment for yourself, I suggest uh, looking into the guide. Otherwise, uh, you'll be shown some warnings for invalid layers that can be quite helpful. Now, after this dense layer, I'll add a dropout layer to avoid a bit of overfitting. And lastly, the actual output layer. I'm going to be using six nodes since we have six labels, as well as the softmax activation function, which is generally what you're going to want to use for the output layer if you have more than two labels. Now that we've added all the layers we'll be using, I'm going to compile this model by going to build. You can check out some of these optimizers and loss functions. I'll keep the defaults and go ahead and build it. Now that we've built the model, we can go ahead and train it. So you can go to train. You'll see that I don't currently have any data sets but I can still train on TensorFlow datasets if I want to. For now, I will go to Save Datasets, where you should be able to see the one we saved earlier. I'll do 10 epochs and change the validation slip to 0 0.2. Now, the training may take a while, but you'll be shown an alert once it completes, so you can uh, simply go to another window and uh, watch a video or something. Now you can see that we got a final accuracy of about 96%. And for the validation, we actually got a very good 99%. Now you can either use it to predict some images, as I showed in the introduction, or you can simply go ahead and download the model in either a .keras or a .h5 format and use it however you want.